Welcome to the Podski. What? Oh, yeah. You understand, baby? Dig it. Let me tell you another thing. First name John, last name Baker. Uh-huh. Brother. Hello and welcome to the Podski. I'm your host, the man of a thousand gimmicks, John Baker. Today, it's returned for good. We're going to do it the right way this time. Hot Shots Wrestling Alliance is back, and we're going to do it right. Got myself. We got the we got the doctor. JC is back. Hello. What's going on? Not much, man. How are you? Good. I uh, finally feel like I'm a normal human being again. I'm honestly, I can't believe it, you know. You've gotten back to normal at this point. You were Ooh. running on, uh, <laughs> burning that wick at both ends uh, last week. Yeah, double ender both ends. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> There's an inside joke you can't explain anywhere else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, yes, I felt like absolute garbage. Uh, I believe it until about saturday i started to feel normal again and it was oh rough it was rough the time change coming back was so rough uh but it was funny listening to you guys because like the first day you got there and you were like it was late but you were running on adrenaline you were all pumped up to be there oh yeah <laughs> and then the next day it was like eh. yeah <laughs> and you're tired. i could hear you get more tired and more pissed <laughs> I've gotten, so, I've gotten to stand in there to, um, uh, I've, I've listened through Friday. I haven't gotten to Saturday and Sunday yet. Man, uh, Saturday I thought was a really good show. I thought Sunday yeah. was really good too, but the, man, that Friday show after leaving that ROH show, I just felt like Tony Khan just gave us a nut, a nut tap and just said, screw you guys. It did not feel good in that building. I don't care what Alvarez and Meltzer say. That building was not as happy as they portrayed leaving the building that night. And I was thinking about it too. Just, I know we're, we have other stuff to talk about, but I was thinking about that Claudio match. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be a heel, right? Like they, they, at that point they had started to transition BCC into heels. So like from that perspective, him winning and the crowd hating it makes sense, but it was the wrong kind of heat. Like you mentioned, right? It wasn't they hate him because of him. They hated him because of the booking. <laughs> right. That's, yeah. Oh, my. So I, I, I get it. Yeah, I was a little irritated by that. But, uh, yeah, and then we got into WrestleMania night one and night two. And uh, we took an absolute beating. As mm. what, are, what are your uh, thoughts on the uh, finish of night two of WrestleMania? Uh, pain. Everything is pain. Um, as Bob Holly once said, whole thing sucked. <laughs> uh, I don't want to hear anything about long-term booking. I have zero faith. You saw my text messages. I have zero faith that they will execute anything like a comeback story. They're just going to grind him into the freaking dirt. <laughs> and they're going to leave him there. Or they're going to crown him at SummerSlam. And it's like, who cares? Like, yeah, I want to see him win. I'll be happy if he's the one who dethrones Roman. But at the same time, it's like, you had the perfect time, the perfect story. You had the perfect moment. Yeah. And and you, you dropped it. You fumbled it. And it's the whole... And the, okay. People who were like, oh, he didn't earn it. What? Okay, if being Stardust and doing cartwheels doesn't earn you something... <laughs> I don't know what earns anything. Like, what does this guy have to do? Crucify himself? Jesus Christ. Like, but that happened uh, last week. Yeah, well, he's back on Sunday, so it's fine. He's right. coming out tonight. He's back. He's out of the cave. We're good. Maybe, so, maybe, maybe they're playing up. Maybe Cody ended racism in AEW and now he <laughs> returns as Jesus Christ in WWE because tonight maybe he will rise. If he somehow starts <laughs> handing out loaves of bread. <laughs> It's turning water to wine. <laughs> we know that Easter is not a work. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, I'll pop on myself for that one. 
<laughs> Sorry to anybody I offended. Oh uh, yeah, that's all in good fun. Um, uh, oh yes, 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 yes. And then just absolutely just got just we just got kicked while we were down on Monday night with the the whole Brock thing, and it just. Uh, I mean, I'm really excited because I really like Lesnar, and I knew that Lesnar was going to have to come into play at some point, but I didn't think it was going to be that soon. I get it. But what's going to happen is, like, he's going to just beat the tar out of... It's the same story with everybody who works with Lesnar. They beat that he gets the tar beat out of him, and then somehow at the end, he ends up winning. Okay, I get that. But if we're talking... It, Triple H said, it's, you know, what I see after this is much more interesting. Is this really that much more interesting? Um, I think... Like, at this point, you could have, you could have moved, you could have moved the IC belt. And I love that match, by the way. Props to the IC, to the guys in the IC match. Yes. Hell of a um, um, Vinny on Brian and, Brian and Vinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The perfect description of it. This is what wrestling looks like in heaven. It was really good. Perfect description of that match. I don't know what it was like live, but on TV, tremendous. So live, it was kind of funny because of where our seats were. So like whenever Walter or Gunther was in there just beating the tar at everybody for the first eight minutes, it was great. But then when Gunther disappeared for the next eight minutes, we could see him laying like chilling up against the barrier watching the entire match just waiting for the spot to come back in so that part yeah, of if i'm the champion i do that too <laughs> so like that, part of it, that took a little bit of, away from it but i right. will say that what really played into it and made it more fun like our seats was during the cody and roman match we could see uh, Sammy and Kevin coming like through yeah. the crowd. So like I popped so big. I like grabbed Andretti on the shoulder. I was like, there they go. There they go. Like I was going nuts. Like I, oh man, they totally had me hook, line and sinker. I, I think yeah. there's one point that I need to make here that I haven't made yet. And that I don't, I'm not trying to take any digs at anybody, but the, there were only three shirts that we saw all weekend long that were a constant. You saw Cody shirts, Roman shirts, and Sammy and Sammy and or Kevin shirts. Like any combination of those three. And which I thought was really interesting because like you always hear the story about how like when you would go to WrestleMania in years past, it would be all Bullet Club shirts or it would be all elite shirts or AEW shirts and like I even like when we went to the GCW shows and stuff like that I mean I might have saw I saw significantly less amount of like AEW shirts than what I really thought I was going to like it was the amount of merch that like the amount of Cody shirts that were sold that were said finish the story like I feel so bad for all of those people that bought that shirt and they sold a gazillion of them. I can't tell you how many times I had to take my finger off the trigger of buying a replica heavyweight title. Is <laughs> you thought you were going to need it. And and I am so glad I didn't. Yeah. Oh he, my god, you cannot believe I was furious. Were, well, so so you and 80 80,000 people in the building were minus the Roman fans, which Honestly, the the um stadium, I would honestly say it was like 60 40 Cody. And that 40% was a very loud 40% for Roman. It might even been 50 50. I don't know. Right. It seemed very 50 50. Like if you, because when I watched the match back, like the crowd seems very 50 50. Um, mm -hmm. But there was just a very overwhelming amount of Cody shirts and Roman shirts. Like, they 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 push the merch. I can't. I I've never seen a like a, a merch push like that. It was it was really something. To well, you know they were gearing up for that endeavor deal. So, <laughs> the total bait and switch. By the way, 
Oh yeah. Total I, bait and switch on the whole Co- Cody story just to bump up the revenue. Oh, oh, for sure, for sure. It'll it will I have faith that it'll be paid off. I, I will be dis very disappointed if it's paid off at SummerSlam and not WrestleMania. I feel like WrestleMania is where you make your superstars, not even though like yes, the, the big four are very important, they're they are not as important like as they once were. Like it's one and it's what big one and then three A minus. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. But, and they said I was listening to somebody and they said SummerSlam is in Philly. Summer so they're doing SummerSlam and in Philly and then WrestleMania in Philly? No, SummerSlam's in Detroit. Ah. Uh, WrestleMania is the uh, is Philly. You're right. Now that you say that, I remember that I've seen the graphic for Detroit cuz it looks like the old Pistons logo. It pretty is dumb. it is pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did enjoy that. Um, but you're right. Now that you say that, I remember that. So I think it was Brian last wrong again, pal. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did listen. Uh, I did listen to their breakdown, and I I understand why. I understand all that. I th- I think when you hear the full layout that Andretti and I give uh, on night two of Mania, you'll. It's not going to make it feel any better, but it might be a clear. It might clear the. Unclear the muddy waters. I think I cognitively understand what they're going for. I just don't care. Yeah. Um, and I get it. Like, okay, I'll be really happy if they decide to crown him in Philly next year if we're going to go. Right. I'll be over the freaking moon. Right. It will, hopefully, it will clear up two issues I've had this year. And I don't think I shared this with you. At the beginning of the year, I was thinking about how this year might go. And I was like, wow, this could be a really cool year. The Eagles could win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Cody could win at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And I could graduate this year. Finish up, be done, and graduate. One for three. <laughs> <laughs> and he, that was my joke. And then I went, you know, I feel like at some point, like as I'm getting, you know, walking across the stage, they're calling my name. I feel like Vince is going to just saunter out. God <laughs> oh, damn, pal. You're not going to be a doctor in my federation. <laughs> damn it. 100%. Just shut the shit down. <laughs> I need got a script change. What are you all, Lanny Poffo fans? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one genius, and he just died. <laughs> R.I.P. Lanny. Uh, we love, we stand a leaping, man. <laughs> Speaking of RIP, we didn't talk about this, but Shane's poor quad. <laughs> oh, my. The, um, so, like, when you listen to night one, when that happened, or that was night two. It was night two. When that happened, everybody yeah. popped. I mean, I stood up. Just so did his quad. <laughs> Yeah, right. Everyone popped was super excited and like I stood up and was filming like I wanted to capture like the the the, the, the music because it the it, he's got great entrance music. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. But um we both Andretti and I both looked at each other as like we don't need this. Like this isn't something that we need. Yeah. And literally right about that time He's rolling around like an old man in the ring, and it just, yeah. I saw him try to get up, and I went, nope. Yeah. Bad choices. Bad choices. What's but up with- what this really did, what this really did was show what a worker Snoop is. But right. He called it in the ring. Dog father. I mean, they, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he called it, but he. Performed- Somebody called it, but he made it look good. He, yeah. I think they, I think they said on the telecast, like, that they were yelling, um, that somebody was yet the ref yelled at him said people's elbow people's yeah. elbow so yeah it was interesting I, I mean when it happened it was like oh god like we 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 wrap it up wrap it up let's get out of here yeah. but, uh, i'm just saying he's the real champion i don't care what roman's carrying around snoop <laughs> or the dog father is the world champion snoop pulled up his best oscar performance in hollywood he pulled it through. <laughs> Those punches weren't even remotely worked. No, they were <laughs> right in right in Miz's face. Like 
He pro- I assume that Miz said, if you're going to hit me, you better make it count. Hit me, yeah. Yeah. So- <laughs> and Snoop did not disappoint. <laughs> right. But. Oh, boy. We also. Good times. Oh, it was great. It was great. Uh, but to mention this uh, WrestleMania week experience, we had a very spirited uh, promo that was cut on you by Andretti about uh, you know, that was on the very first episode out there. And he called you a pizza pee on. Mm-hmm. What are, uh, what are your thoughts or what are, what is your response to this? Because it was making I'm me thinking about this. I was I was uncomfortable sitting there. Because now I, I I'm a I'm stuck in the middle here. Yeah, you are. You really are, and I you're just doing out. it for the content. You don't even care about your friends' feelings. Yeah, I'm just I was just here for the pizza. <laughs> you really are. All right, <clears throat> Mister Andretti. I was thinking about this a lot. I've listened to your promo. First, I thought, wow, he said it. That's pretty funny. For a state school grad, that's pretty good. <clears throat> but the more I thought about it, the more I actually feel like I need to thank him. Ooh. Okay? I really thought I was going to be the bad guy in all this, in these so-called pizza wars that the internet is clamoring for. Okay? I thought I was going to be the bad guy. Usually the most educated people in the room are the least liked. I get that. That's a burden I bear as a doctor. Champion's burden. It's true. It's true. The curse of competence. But it's really gone beyond the geometric deliciousness that is tomatoes, dough, cheese, and meats. It's, we've gone far beyond the delicious Italian delicacy that we all love. And upon reflection, really made me take a hard look at myself. You know, think about what makes a man a man. And Andretti, you've reminded me that I'm a man. I'm a man of the people. Ooh, okay. Man of the people. I'm a part of the soul of this great country. Okay, I'm the everyman. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to be that man. I'm proud to be a man of the people. I'm proud to be a state school kid who rose up beyond his faculties. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the brightest. I got a pretty low IQ. I've got little natural talent. Hell, I don't even have a full head of hair. Okay, I wasn't even given a head of hair. (laughs) But you know what I do have? I've got work ethic and I've got a chip on my shoulder from people like him. Ah. And I've parlayed that into something I can be damn proud of. I can be proud of the fact that I'm a role model and mentor for others like me, the people, okay? I'm out here showing what I can do so that people know that anything is possible, Kevin Garnett style, anything is possible. With hard work, gumption, and never giving up, anything is possible. He did say that. And you're out here talking about your pizza knowledge. You've wined and dined with pizza kings and queens nationwide. Hell, all over this globe. You've been with the finest. But I got to ask you, Mr. Andretti. I got to ask you a real question. When's the last time you've dined on pork and beans with the people? Okay, the people. You've forgotten where it is that you came from. And you've forgotten the most important part of all of life people people around you Mm. the people couldn't follow you to the hills of hollywood my man they couldn't go that far you ran you ran from the east coast you couldn't handle it out here you couldn't handle the people the people can't eat thousand dollar (laughs) sushi they can't take in those incredible views from the hollywood hills they can't do it you ran off to make sitcoms and major motion pictures the people couldn't follow you. You abandoned. You let them down. The most damning indictment I can find is the fact that you took pride in saying that you only see your family once a year. You only see your people once a year. 
Not a man of the people. Shameful. Me, on the other hand, I turn down big money jobs and fancy opportunities to make sure I can come home to the people. I'm here for the people. Mm, people. When, <laughs> when life gets tough, I don't run to the holly weird hill, hills. I don't do it. They're steep when hills. Life gets tough, when life gets tough, I get down in the mud and get things done with the people. And right. when something's broken, I don't buy another one. I don't throw it out. Okay, I don't throw it in the ocean. Get the, uh, get the duckies all hot and bothered. I don't do it. Fix I it. get in there and I fix it. And fix. I make sure that others can fix it too. I give back to the people. Okay? I don't eat $40 pizza and $30 donuts. Because the people can't afford those prices in this economy. Okay? I eat what the people eat. Hashtag Nardones. You can attack me in my background. I am no saint. And I've had hard times put on me, Daddy. But just remember this, Mr. Andretti. When you attack me, you attack the people. Okay? And they don't forget. And they damn sure do not forgive. You better watch. So in closing, more that I think about it, I'm grateful. So thank you, Mr. Andretti. Thank you for reminding me and everybody else just who the hell I am. Mm. You may deride my education. State school kid. Ha! I wear that like a badge of honor on my chest. When you uttered those fateful words and dubbed me a dubious delinquent, you unknowingly wrote a chapter in the most timeless story ever told. The man versus the people. You may call me. No, nay, nay. You may call us pizza peons. We the people are pizza peons. You may call us that. But at the end of the day, Mr. Andretti, I'm not a, I may be a pizza peon. But more importantly than anything else you can call me, even beyond doctor, you can call me the common man. American Dream He's just a common man Working hard with his hands He's just a common man Working hard for the man Hey, he's a I await your rebuttal. That was fantastic. Bravo. <laughs> wow. Woo. That was good. What Thanks. a response. The Pizza Wars is alive on the podcast. The common man. The common man versus the 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 pizza prince the the prince there of you go the prince of pies versus the common man yes he's been whining and dining with kings and queens but he yes. ran up against the people the mm -hmm. people will say and take no more i i do have to say that, that grandma slice that was a 40 dollars <laughs> <laughs> like been by far the best pizza i've ever had in my life it looked delicious i'll be honest oh my it really did and it's a local shop it went geometric it, yeah it, it 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 hit all of the the high spots there it hit all the high spots yep oh that was fantastic wow yep hashtag dubbed me a dubious delinquent <laughs> yeah. i need merch now yes <laughs> <laughs> the common man, the pizza peon. It... <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, <laughs> I need a shirt that is <laughs> instead of polka dots, it's pepperoni slices. <laughs> yes. So good. Oh, God. 
Uh, I wish I would have seen the video. I had a, a Dusty Rhodes action figure dancing while the song was playing. Uh, I do have that here on camera. <laughs> may or may not oh, good. throw that. Throw that up. Because we are now on YouTube, so if you are watching this, you will eventually get some good... Um, you're going to be able to see... We're going to screen share here in a little bit. We're going to do the Hot Shots Wrestling Alliance draft. It will be uh, by way of WWE 2K23 in my GM. This is our Love it. best way that we figured w would be the way to keep the scoring system. Um, and we will see who is going to be the best GM. And uh, I know myself, I am going to be playing as Teddy Long. Uh, and I will be representing SmackDown. Player, player, player. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you are going to be Eric Bischoff for mm -hmm. Dub C Dub. Easy E. Yeah, you're going to sign all the legends, baby. Love it. But, all right, well, so for the listeners that aren't listening on YouTube, the, the, the way that it's going to be set up, we're going to do 25 weeks. We're budgeted at three million two hundred fifty, which is the max that you can get, and we're gonna we have our own custom draft pool. So there's a little bit of there there's some different attires that we got. We made sure that we only had like one Undertaker and and one Randy Orton, and we got it's a little bit of uh, AEW guys mixed in there. Not a lot. Like we don't have MJF or Adam Cole, but we have FTR and the Bucks. Um, so try to keep it as close to the WWE roster as possible, but with some fun and, um, just making sure we didn't have doubles basically. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> all right, we'll get this draft started here. I, I don't, I know for, I'm not going to reveal my draft strategy up front, but, uh, I, I think that I'll probably have a smaller roster than you just based off what my plan is. Cause I have two pages of notes here and I have a quarter page quarter. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, I call it in the ring, bud. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, somebody's got to call it. Uh, I'm not in the back playing it like a spot monkey. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I'll be, I'll be DDP and steamboat and macho. Figuring it all out backstage. Since, you know, since DDP and I are best friends now. That's true. You felt the bang and it was real. Correct. So, uh, late happy birthday to Diamond Dallas Page, by the way. So. Ageless wonder. Ageless wonder. That's how you elongate your spine. That's how you turn back the hands of time. Mm -hmm. You turn a fat burner into an energy. And that's how you, that's how you build strength. So. Thank you for hitting that line because I didn't remember what it was. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> uh, everyone needs a reminder on that. Uh, so uh, with that, we will start up the draft ski here. Go for it. All right. So we're here at the draft now, and we're going to start it up. And this is our season one. So we got our rules. Uh, we're going to start with the 30, we're going to start with the $3,250,000 and we're doing a snake draft style. Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be nine rounds. And if you want to go over nine, you can. And yep. uh, we can get recommendations and all that jazz. So yeah, if you want to cheat, which you'll probably do. <laughs> well, so you're going to book, your, book yourself into the ground. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, I got first pick, so. I did. Uh, yeah, that wasn't. I wasn't trying to do that. Uh, uh -huh. So I need to sort. I smell collusion. I also smell what I believe will be a running theme through this. You using Game Genie? No. Hundred <laughs> percent Game Genie Jones. No, 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 no. All right. Sure, sure. My first pick in the Hot Shots draft. Going with a, a heel cruiser weight. That is a woman, because we got to build out that. We got to build that out. I am yep. taking EO Sky. Interesting. Would not have guessed you would have gone EO Sky there, but that's all right. I knew she'd be available, and I knew I wouldn't have to worry. But I know who you're well, going right away. 
Yeah. Well, somebody <laughs> else doesn't know how to book him well. Are you going to book him right? Oh, I am going to. He is going to be the forever champion. No one has taken the belt off this man. I crowned him appropriately at, at WrestleMania this year. Correct. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, first off the board, coming back home to WCW. Oh, all right. So, Eos, what a first round. Eo Sky and Cody Rhodes. Uh, so, I am going to go back to the women. I need. We love the equity here. I need. I need a big giant to go against Eo. So, I am taking Dewdrop. All and, right. And number two pick. WCW. Little uh, class action there. You got the uh, cruiser and the giant. Yes. Nicely I'm, done. Yes, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think ahead here. No, you picked for me. I picked Dewdrop. Oh, shit. It's a snake. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to restart that one. Sorry, guys. Bobber on. <laughs> I'm leaving. That. Snake I'm gonna leave that all in here too. Good. Good. I hope Andretti flambes you. First time, long time for this guy. Act like you <laughs> got it with snake. What a moron. I didn't even pick up on it either. I'm used to these being back and forth. Okay. All right. Three and a quarter milli. Three snake milli snake. Draft pool, hot shot. Jacobs are on. So if you want to take any of my people, we've given away exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I want the same thing. All right, we're back. All right, SmackDown. Are about to change. First it's pick. WWE draft time. There it is. Going to take. EO Sky first pick. All right. Ruin the moment for everybody. Right. Way to go, John. WCW's first pick will be... Absolutely Cody Rhodes. One Cody Runnels. And with the second... Now we're going into the second round. Oh, yeah. It's me again. Okay. I'm going to screw that up. Right. Uh... I feel like it's only right. To put the Queen, Charlotte Flair, in WCW. So, the more things change, the more they stay the same. We've got, on top, we've got a Runnels and a Fleer. Yes. Well, those things all make sense. Yes. All right. So, I gave away my, my first two picks. We know, we know where this one's going. Yeah. So, I am I am taking Dew Drop at number Dose. All right. So, I'm going to switch over. To the men, and uh, I'm I'm going. I got to go with the giant. Oh my god! My giant is going to be. Uh, my giant is going. I, I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take him. I think I'm gonna take. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Ivar. That's a strong pick. If you really like eyeliner, you've got, you've got your man in Ivar. <laughs> right. It, I'm, I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm making a. Uh, this is going to be a strange draft. It's not. I'm going. I'm going unconventional. Okay. I don't want respect it. I don't want to pick my favorites because then I, I will. I, it'll, it'll just end up in me putting them always over. See, I want to live in a fantasy world where I'm always right. Right. Yeah. So. Um. Plus, I would have never picked any of my picks. They would have never been in any type of draft if I wouldn't do it this way. Doing it for the content. Mm. Keeping them alive. But where... He can't be that far down. You are going deep into the list. I'm not trying to. I just want to find who I want, but I'm not seeing it. They must not have him in the draft order. Ooh. Toots. Okay. Uh, 
well, we need a heel. Uh huh. And this guy not having good luck. Uh, him and ladders are not getting along, so we're not going to put him in a ladder match right away. <laughs> but I am officially going to take Finn Balor with my next pick. WCW Coming to WCW, enjoy Atlanta. Balor. I'm yeah. back again. Good weather this time of year, I hear. Yeah. I don't know, though. Mm. All right, we need... Need a strong face. Mm, yeah. Ooh, actually. No, 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 no. Okay, I got this. Uh, okay, come on back. Here we go. We are going to take... Where did it go? Ah, I'm getting scrambly. Okay, here we go. With my next pick for the ladies' division, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. All right. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to return to the males. I'm going to stick with the males. I am looking for a cruiserweight. Looking for a male cruiser that is a heel. And that is going to be Cruz Del Toro coming to SmackDown. Need to do a little building. I like it. Mm -hmm. Take 26 weeks to turn him into a star. <laughs> and now I need a... I need a baby face. I need a fighter. I need somebody who is going to be that fighting baby face. Who is it going to be? Our truth Coming to SmackDown. I thought you were going to go with Dexter Loomis. You went the complete opposite direction. <laughs> I wanted to take Loomis, but I decided on better. Okay. Need a little comedy. Gotcha. Uh-huh. All right. <clears throat> hey, if Vince can... Hey, pal. We need the people to laugh, damn it. <laughs> they need to be serious. They need to have a good time, damn it. Um, we need a KG veteran here. Ooh, KG veteran. Yeah, we need a good veteran here who can really help the young guys, help the old guys, get everybody... Um, and build people when we need to build. They can carry the load if somebody gets hurt. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This guy's at the top of the top. Some say he's at the apex. Oh. A returning from injury, Randy Orton, coming to WCW. All right. I like it. And he's a face. Uh, so, John is trying to pick for me again. I'm not. I'm not. Uh huh. I was looking. Sure. I got. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh. Man, Undertaker is just so tempting. Here. I know. I know. Nobody wants to spend that three hundred eight thousand. And yeah, no one wants to. No one wants to pay Taker. No one. Nobody wants to pay Nash. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh, man, that's so hard to not want to take Kevin Nash. I know. Only if it fits the board. That's right. Do the bowl. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, I need a. Right? Isn't that what I need? Oh no, wait. Oh, you have. There we go. Okay. You were screwing me up. You somehow had your roster on my screen. Oh, my fault. Killing me. I'm like, I know that that has some synergies. All right. I may not be a resident of Knox County. Ah. But I am going to take their mayor, Big Kane, 03 Kane, before he got political. 
off the board. All right. I dig it. I dig it. All right. So we are now in round. This is the, the end of round six. So I am going to look for a heel. And you have back-to-backs. I do have back-to-backs. So I need a heel. I'm looking for a heel bruiser. To go against my baby face fighter in our truth. What better heel at this point right now than Otis? Our <laughs> truth and Otis is gonna be my big money maker. Otis off the board for SmackDown. I thought you were gonna take Nikita Lyon. Otis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. And my we're now in the seventh round, so I am looking. I'm back in the game for a giant, baby. Back in the game for a giant. I'm looking for a face giant. And that face giant is going to be Shanky. <laughs> oh, I love it. Also, a great note is that Shanky and Undertaker, Biker Taker, are, have formed a tag team in my universe, universe that I'm running right now. That's just great booking. So, Shanky, welcome to SmackDown. Smackdown Off the board. Shanky. Off the board. Now here's a reason to dance. All right. GMP WCW is back on the board for round eight. For a big man with big potential. And we are going to... Round eight is going to be... Well, round, yeah, it would be... So, end of round seven and round eight. It's going to be ladies' night. Ooh. Here in round seven and eight. I like it. I'm looking. You're digging. You're digging for somebody. I want, coming to the WCW brand, uh -huh. young up-and-coming babyface, giant Raquel Rodriguez. All Come right. on down. All right, come on down, Raquel. And then we need, we're now into round eight. We need a cruiser who's a face, or who's a who's a heel. Oh, a cruiser heel, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think I know what we need. We need to take care of some business. Ah. We're, we're bringing the tank. This time it's not going to be DX. It's going to be Shotzi. Ah. Coming the, to Atlanta. WCW the famous Brown. poop merchant. Going <laughs> to WCW. The GM giving her a chance to I was not going to bring that up. <laughs> well, somebody's got to. I guess. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to stick with... The the men, I need a, I need a heel cruiser. I need somebody that's going to take on Shanky. Who is that going to be? Is it going to be Noam Dar? Or will it be the, the, the dastardly heel that is Sami Zayn, which is not exactly who he is in real life anymore? I was going to say, are you feeling Usy at $207,000? Well, I check, I'm checking the budget. The budget's looking good. I'm at $2 million right now. The budget is high. Which is what we want. We need to make sure we're making money here. It's all about the money. It's all about the money feuds. We're gonna, we're gonna, damn it, pal! I'm gonna make these people stars. <laughs> Hail Cruiser, Sami Zayn, coming to SmackDown. SmackDown pandering to the internet fans. Pandering to the internet fans. Sami Zayn. Is you gonna team him with Owens now? I don't know if I have room for Owens. We'll see. But now I'm going back to the women. I am looking for a specialist in the women's division. I'm looking for I'm looking for a heel. Time to reel in a big star for SmackDown. Bailey is coming home as a heel specialist. Welcome At the to top of the ninth round. What a what a pick. Ninth round. What a what a steal. Like Kelsey in the fifth. Yeah, fucking working it. 
All Always right. got to be working it. Dubsy Dubs pick. Yeah. Okay. So we got a little bit of synergy there. Top guy is a specialist. I think we need a male and we need a cruiser. And we need a cruiser, male cruiser heel. Oh, Kane's a fighter. He's not a giant. That's dumb. Never mind. Totally ruined my plans. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for uh, not classifying him correctly. <laughs> oh, he's a bruiser. That's even worse. <laughs> What's, what? Okay. So we need a heel bruiser. At a modest price, someone we can build. Uh huh. Yeah, your budget is eating away. You're at one point six six nine. I got plenty. You're one point six mil. We're gonna go. The reigning and defending John Cena beater, <laughs> Austin Theory. Please shave your beard. It looks terrible. Austin all right, that concludes round ten. Now we're heading into uh, we're heading into the deep rounds here. We got we're gonna see where we're gonna get our value here now. That was the end of round nine. Yeah, yeah, we're starting round ten. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like. We need to go wild card here. Ooh, okay. And we need Ah, oh, he has no synergies with anybody. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helpful at all, David. <laughs> some of us call it in the ring, some of us put it in the box. Yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> Yeah, this is a call it mirroring situation. <laughs> All right. I like this. All right. From the AEW roster, Rhea's boyfriend, Buddy Matthews. All right. I, I dig it. I dig it. That's a good that's good value in the tenth round. Oh yeah. I am now I am in the business of looking for a baby face. I need a baby face specialist. That is a woman. What better than Natty Space? <laughs> Bring her home. Natty, welcome back to SmackDown. SmackDown chooses Natalia. The veteran Natalia is a <laughs> Deep cut. <laughs> it really is. And now I'm I'm sticking I, I need to, I'm I'm trying to round out my women's division here. I I I am trying to round it all out. Make it a complete women's division here. So uh, I'm looking for a heel. Kind of thinking somebody that's not going to break my bank a little bit, but I need, I need, I need to make sure they got enough stamina because we're here, we're here to book good matches. I got, I got a little bit of money, got a little bit of money to play with here. So I'm gonna, one and a half mil. I'm going to take, uh, going to take Carmella with the first pick in round eleven as my heel fighter. Princess of Long Island. You just can't teach that. Nope. That's what I'm told. And she was still available? Amazing. Okay. At round 11, your budget is hanging at 1.3 mil. That's right. So we're roughly, we're, we're pretty close now in, uh, in budget. Yeah. I made three big signings in a row, four big signings in a row. So that ate away at my, that ate away at my choices here really did i need i need that big that big giant deal and uh from what i understand from what i've been told there is nobody mina <laughs> than tamina welcome right. to atlanta hey tamina 
there. Look at Nash just hanging out there at the top of the board. Oh, and Taker too. It's so hard not to want to take them. I just it it, it really is. All right, first pick of round twelve. We're yes. You were at uh, one point one, almost one point two million dollars. Yeah. Mm. Looking for what's tickling your fancy here? Well, I need a. I'm gonna get another baby face woman. So let's go over to this filter. Let's check out the bottom. We got a cruiser here. I'm liking. We put her with the specialists. We can put her with the giants. So there's some matches there. But which one do I want? Gotta be Booker T's favorite superstar. Right, all right. Roxanne Perez. The Roxy action. Welcome to Dub C Dub. All right, so uh, I just picked a heel fighter. I would like to have a face fighter. So I am going to pick a face fighter. I need them to be a... Uh, well, I've only got one choice at this point. <laughs> <laughs> mm, we're going to be hearing that a lot this season when you book yourself into a corner. Uh, it's all right. Zia Lee, welcome to SmackDown. SmackDown chooses all right. All right, man, we're going to start uh, round 13. Got a lot to prove. I am actually done. You're finished. Yes. Okay. I think I'm going to take. I'm going to take two more. I'm okay. going to take round fourteen. Uh, well, you said you were going to have a smaller roster than me. I thought. You know what? I figured you were going to try to fill your roster out, but you you surprised me. Okay. So I am looking for a male fighter that has a face. Boy, is it tempting to want to take Undertaker right here, but I I need to think. <laughs> Think about the money. Yeah, that's three hundred and eight thousand. That's rough. Yeah, so I'm gonna take the cheaper option here. A more a little rested, a younger body per se. Doesn't have his hips replaced. I'm gonna take Dexter Loomis as a face fighter. Round thirteen as a cheaper option. Great value in the thirteenth round. Dexter right. Loomis. So you do not want anybody else. No, I think I need to hit the uh this button here. Okay. End the draft and confirm your current roster. Yeah, you can confirm dub c dub. Okay. Look at the big boys. All right, so look at your to your roster. You got a lot of star power on that roster. That's right, gotta have it. So the, the fans aren't paying to come in and see a bunch of carpenters. That's all right. That's all right. We're sometimes you can't give everybody what they want up front. You got to build a little bit. You got to okay. build a little bit. So, you know, now I'm looking for looking for something. I'm looking for something. I, I know what I want. I want to heal. Dominic Mysterio. I need I need a nasty heel specialist. It's not gonna break the bank. Ludwig Kaiser is coming to SmackDown as my final pick. And Love it. That is gonna round out the roster. I'm only keeping 14 on the roster. I went with 12. So SmackDown. Oh my gosh. My roster is so awesome. It is so awesome. I can't believe it. <laughs> is so, it bad that I don't think most fans can name half the people in that picture? <laughs> right. It's so great. Okay, so SmackDown's roster is EO Sky. SmackDown has myself, Teddy Long, manager. Play, play, play. Play, play, play. Holla, holla, holla. You can't go one on one with the Undertaker on this show because he's still because he's not there yet not there yet uh but the smackdown roster consists of eo sky bailey carmella sammy Zayn, ivar r-truth dexter loomis 
<laughs> Ludwig Kaiser, Dewdrop, Shanky, Otis, Natalia, Cruz del Toro. My favorite pick. Bailey. And the superior brand. This, this clearly they're looking to this is they're they're looking to burn out all their stars right away. Hundred percent. We're hot shotting the shit out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Marathon, it's not a sprint. Just one we day. have 26 weeks, buddy. We have half a season. Okay. It's a sprint. We have the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The man who got staples on the field for Finn Balor. We have the Queen Charlotte Flair back in a flair in WCW just feels so right. And what feels potentially even more right is the man who's going to lead us to the promised land because he's a draw and Vince uh, was wrong. Yeah. Cody Rhodes. I don't think that, you know, I, he's still a draw. Still a draw. Story's not over. I'm going to remember that when he wins at SummerSlam. <laughs> to, uh, to half a pop. His old mentor and man who could take over if Cody gets hurt when I run him into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Orton. Man, that stamina is looking rough for Cody. Brother, no, it's so bad. <laughs> brother needs to hit some cardio. <laughs> brother needs to spend some more time in his bus. He needs to stop doing those interviews. Damn. The next selection was um, Buddy Matthews and his awesome, awesome mask. I couldn't remember his name, despite it being right there because of the mask. After that, nobody Mina, then Tamina. I love that. I love that Tamina pick. That Tamina pick is so great. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. Looks like every disappointed lunch lady ever. Austin Theory. <laughs> A Town is down, but not for long because we're going to be hitting A Town up in the ratings. Austin Theory. I went through TSA with Austin Theory uh, last Monday in LA. Hope you got kicked in the pecker for not taking him. Uh, I, 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 he looked like he did not want to be bothered, so I therefore I did not bother him at all. Well, thank you. That was a good job. Right. You got to respect the biz. You really do. Uh, after that, Raquel Rodriguez, up and coming babyface star. Need it. Got to have it. Kane, with potentially the most stamina of anyone ever for a man his size. What the hell? Why You're not getting crazy? blown up with a 90 stamina. Good Lord. He's got as much stamina as Ludwig Kaiser. He spent most of his career either under the ring or on the, <laughs> on the apron waiting for the hot tag. Jeez, He's got like plenty of stamina. Fresh body Jones out here. He really is. Shotzi's after that with a hard 70 stamina. And then finally, Roxanne Perez. Up and coming baby face. Mm -hmm. To the moon. Maybe. One day. Hopefully. We'll see. Love a little Roxy action. Yeah. So I think that you might end up having a little bit more money than I do. I believe I am currently sitting at $865,700. Yes. Uh, once we get out of here, maybe we'll see what both of our budgets are. Yours is probably doing a lot better than what mine is. I'm about a million, I think, if memory serves. All right. We got four weeks to Hell in a Cell. So uh, that is, we're building our first our first pay per view will be Hell in a Cell. I think that, um, I think that you know what I'm thinking in terms of how we're going to lay the shows out. I think we should probably do two shows a show. That way we keep it light. It's not too like much. two weeks. Two weeks of two weeks per show. Uh, and then, you know, two weeks we'll, of TV. Yeah, two weeks of TV, and then we'll do like one episode will be the full pay-per-view that way it gives us plenty of time to book all that and and all that so um i think we'll, we'll while we're here we can uh we will select our champions as well uh, okay i don't know that I, I will be able to do that but i know you can yeah because i think you have to like go through and do all of your booking for that week and then finish that before i can do that oh okay 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 um 
so I'll see I'll see where we're at right now and then we'll we'll make a yeah make a decision here. I don't know if I really want to I hate that I have to choose my champion. That's what I don't like. I don't want to have to choose. I want I want to earn it. Like Cody Rhodes is going to have to. He's going to have to earn it. Oh, you're a WWE mark from way back, aren't you? I am. So, I am putting <laughs> this belt on a giant. And we're going to put it on uh Big giant, the land of the giants. <laughs> land of the giants. Can't forget. And my, you didn't, you didn't say who it was, like, because I started laughing. Oh, it, it was Shanky. My world champion Sh- is Shanky. Shanky Mania, Universal Champion. You got to put the belt on a giant. It's, it's, damn it, it's New York. And I'm going to put the ooh. Now, now I don't know. Now I'm, uh, now I'm a little. Now Ooh, what's your, what's your first rivalry there, brother? My first rivalry, I think I want to put. I, I want, I want a baby face chase a little bit. Can't, can't give, can't give the people too many baby faces all at once. I want a little bit of a chase. I want, to, I want them to get, I want, I want them to get a little taste of what they want, and what they okay. want, what they want is Dewdrop. They want Dewdrop to be their champion, but Eo Sky is not going to allow that. She's going to be. She's going to start as our world champion. Congratulations to our new champions. The champions of Smith. What's, Smash- what's his name and third member of Damage Control? The, the third, my <laughs> two champions, my two world champions are Shanky and Eo Sky. So. No disrespect to either of them. They're both very good performers. I don't, yeah, I think you are right. We can't, we can't switch until. I got to book my show until you can take over and get your champions. So that's all right. That's all right. Believe we can lead off episode two with uh, your choice of champions. And I think uh, I'm ready to go. I I don't have, I I have as much money as what I thought. I I didn't want to go under six. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm about 265,000 to the good. Hmm. You have a lot more money. I think we're pretty even on money, actually, because we were pretty close. But I made two more selections, so you probably you have, did. You probably have around nine hundred or a little over a mil. I like to leave the draft with about a million. Okay. When I do these, yeah. Hopefully, on the good side of a million. But if I'm a little under, that's fine too. But I like to like to leave myself a nice buffer to start buying stuff. Uh-huh. If I need to bring in somebody, <clears throat> that sort of thing. Like to leave myself some cash before I can really start bringing in the dough and the fans, taking all your fans, making them my fans. Do we want to look at uh, available? So available legends to start week one: Andre the Giant, Hitman Hart, Batista, Cactus Jack, uh, Trish, Umanga, Bad- Umanga, Umanga. Bad Bunny, Molly Holly, China, Booker T, Farouk, Lita, Vader. We got HBK. We got JBL down there. Uh, we got some options here for. Yeah, we do. Uh, plenty of free agents. Uh, Ronda Rousey's a free agent. Lesnar's a free agent. Uh, Big E, Strowman, Cena, the Steve. Doctor of Thugonomics. Uh, what? Cora Cult or Cora Cut? Cora Cut is a free agent. How did we miss Cora Cut? How did we well, miss medical, medical Bill? Bill? Dad Jones? Nova Northern Light. How did we miss her? You could put, you could make a doctor versus doctor match. Medical Bill and <laughs> John Cena. You could. Doctor versus, I think, you know, I think that might be, that has to be your first pick. Your first two pickups. We'll see. <laughs> oh, my. You know there's somebody that I'm waiting for i know who you're waiting you're waiting for somebody because it wasn't there because they weren't there and i'm I'm gonna be real with you if you make that pick i'm coming home (laughs) (laughs) with a steel chair (laughs) i actually don't know who it is oh good okay we'll let that one percolate a wwe legend ah what, what, like four or five matches. Okay, five. 
Are they in AEW? Yeah. I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, you're gonna, you're gonna, Is you're gonna man? catch these hands. Is he available? <laughs> I didn't see him. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see him yet either. The man called Sterling. Because I put, we put him as active. We didn't even put him as a legend. I don't think. Did I think that he's gonna come into play probably later on? Yeah, because I was really hoping he would be draftable. Because I'd have just taken him right away. Yeah. Huh. Well, we got some ideas. We got some ideas of where we want to go. Now we know our roster. Now we got a. I I feel like we should probably book out our first two. Sh- we'll we'll book out our first two shows. Um. On next on the next episode of Hot Shots Wrestling Alliance, I don't know, man. I need to write down my roster so I because I don't even know half the people I have right now because I didn't write it down. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I'll make sure you get the roster. Uh, and yeah, what a ro- I did. Looks good. I, my roster is awesome. You had no idea I was going that route. I went the opposite route. You really did. I was not expecting that. Like I expect as soon as I saw Taker was up there, I was like, ooh. First person he's taken. Yeah. It's Biker Taker. I let you have the choice of takers because I know your your favorite one is Biker Taker, so I let you go with it. Didn't you don't know, off the board. You know what I just realized? Um, I didn't record the screen sh- the screenplay. On the we play. did all that work. We did, all that work. <laughs> <laughs> but we got good audio. We have good audio. That's what's important. It's a podcast. It's yeah. It's it's a it's an audio. It's an audio platform. Wow, that sucks. I had it all planned out <laughs> for for YouTube and everything. We will. Oh, we and, and you had been planning that for so long. <laughs> yeah, sorry YouTube, but we'll we'll figure it out. We'll we'll make sure we got some graphics up. I'm and even if I have to, you know, finagle a little bit of stuff here. Actually, you know what? I could just tell it to record the last hour. Oh, you can. So in live time, I believe that we figured out that I, with with the great voice commands of PlayStation now, I believe I created an hour-long clip of everything we just did. That's tremendous. There are so many things that PlayStation 5s can do that uh, I did not think were possible. It, it, it only took 29 seconds, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. So, <laughs> we're back after a, a quick panic. Thank you to PlayStation. Thank you, Sony, for making this possible that I forgot to record all of the gameplay. And with the new voice commands, it went back and it collected all of the gameplay over our draft. So, everything is safe. Everything is good. Thank you, Sony, for thinking ahead for a, a, a dumb white like myself. I don't know how that. I don't know how they do that. Like technologically speaking, I don't know how they made that happen. But... I don't know, but I'm so grateful for it because I just got so sad. Yeah, boy, was I yeah. sad. Yeah, Woo! that worked out. That worked out. So. All right, so we got our draft set. We'll make sure that JC gets his draft, and we'll be ready to do our first two bookings of television on the road to Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell. And, Can we have the regular Hell in a Cell and not the red one? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll have we'll have regular Hell. In oh, a Cell. good. Try my, I'll try my hardest to make sure we don't have red Hell in a Cell. Okay, because if we do, then we have to have red lights, and then everybody has to get a migraine. That's the right. Rules. Correct. Correct. Uh. All right, man. Well, thank you for the draft. Hopefully you all enjoyed the drafting yeah. here. And with that, we will make sure you check out. Um, yeah, so if you're following along in the audio version of this, like on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, go check us out on YouTube. Um, it's uh, the Podski uh, with John Baker on YouTube. It's it's there. We only have a few episodes on there currently right now. I'm going to try to do get the backlog of the archives and everything on there. But moving mm. forward, Word, there's going to be a podcast on YouTube every week whenever we launch uh, the regular audio version of this. So 
Uh, be sure to check that out. Make sure you check us out on Twitter at the underscore Podsky, Instagram, the underscore Podsky, and uh, Facebook. That is the same as YouTube, uh, the Podsky with John Baker. And thank you to the doctor, JC, for coming along on the uh, draft as we thought we uh, ran right into disaster. But unlike Vince, who couldn't pull up the rudder, last week uh we did and we missed the iceberg and that's why we both deserve the book that's the damn it that's why we do <laughs> about shanky as my world champion about yeah. the end of the king yeah shanky like the how like the uh supports that you've built your prog your uh promotion on just real shanky <laughs> all right well with that we will see you next time on the Podski.